The heaviest addiction is the addiction to others' opinions. It's so good that I've quit this. Or at least I'm trying to quit. Like all obsessions, the dependence on others' opinions is a defensive mechanism of our brain. In the past, to survive and not be eaten by Diego from the Ice Age, people moved in groups. The moral of this fable is that even a lion can be taken down by a crowd. By grouping together, people could defeat animals much larger and stronger than them. But if you told your prehistoric buddies that you like early Luc Besson's work instead of hunting mammoths, they would probably kick you out of the group and you would be left alone. And most likely you would be eaten by some predator. If you're not useful, there's no food for you. So the fear of being rejected and misunderstood by people is here to stay because the hardware in our brains hasn't been updated since the beginning of time. All the features that helped us reach modern reality can now hinder our self-realization. But one way or another, we have to deal with it. Accept it as a fact. Everyone wants to be accepted and get approval from those around them, but it's not always possible. As I remember, I always worried about what others would think of me. I was concerned about not looking foolish or, on the contrary, not appearing as a boring nerd. But while I was worried about what others would say, I was under their control. Fortunately, with age comes the realization of simple truths. Awareness is the key at the beginning of any journey. As far back as I remember, I was always a skinny guy with all the associated insecurities. School also stressed me out, taking up a lot of my time. About five years ago, I first went to the gym because I wanted to become a giga chat and bulk up a bit. Back then, I had no idea how things worked there. I just studied exercises and techniques at home so I could try them out at the gym. And of course, I was afraid that everyone would mock me and look at a skinny guy who can't even carry a cup of water from the boiler to the bench press and laugh at the small weights and poor technique. But no one ever said anything bad to me. No one laughed. Instead, everyone gave me tips and helped me with technique, offered advice on nutrition, and even spotted me. Although it was strange since I wasn't even doing an exercise at that moment. But that's beside the point. The main thing I've learned is that real jerks exist, but there are very few of them, and they're also very cowardly. All their efforts amount to nothing more than words. Although I've met quite a few of these people, I don't recall anyone ever supporting them in real life. Remember, no healthy sane person feels the need to humiliate, belittle, or devalue someone's achievements or laugh at their failures. This is the weakest position in our world. If you see this, it's either kids who, due to their age, don't understand some things and might laugh at insults or bullying, or just weak people. So always, if you have the chance, try to help. Who knows, maybe the person can't lift to the bar because he got injured as a child and now has a fear of elongated objects. Of course, it's fun to troll, joke, and so on. But in real life, if you see someone trying, it's better to help or at least not discourage him. Maybe for him, it's a huge fear he's trying to overcome. Moreover, everyone already has a thousand reasons to feel down without the help of others. Anyone who tries is already a step above those who don't try and 10 steps above those who just hate. Treat people the way you want to be treated. And if it's not reciprocated, then send them away. I would say this and be right, but you understand that it's not your problem. You acted humanely, first and foremost for yourself. And their reaction is their problem, which shouldn't concern you. So after I got just a bit smaller than Ronnie Coleman at his peak, I started to take new things and people more easily. And that topic we talked about in the last video, that the whole world is connected, one piece top and so on. Here's a clear example. Take any of your favorite works, it doesn't matter. A book, a movie, or an anime. I'm not Nostradamus, but I dare to assume that everyone has at least one character who didn't care about others' opinions. Or to rephrase, who didn't seek approval from the surrounding world. Any hero who sets a goal and bravely goes towards it has, one way or another, stopped thinking about others' opinions. This trait is present in any hero with a strong and determined character because the authors who created the character went through a lot of hate when they started releasing their works. They inevitably project their character onto their own characters. Also, what I've noticed is that indifference is common among very strong characters, which reflects our world. As always, Zoro, Zoraki Kenpachi, Saitama, John Wick, Sherlock Holmes, Kratos. Any tough and strong person doesn't care what others think of him, but it's not indifference towards themselves and their goals, but towards anything that might distract them from those very goals. All this sounds great, but talk is easy. In practice, difficulties can arise. So here's how I personally deal with the fear of criticism from others. If you're worried about what people think of you, just imagine what would happen if you were gone. In a few hours, everyone will stop crying. Then they'll see your search history, then say goodbye to you properly, and that's it. Except for a few people, everyone will forget about you in a couple of weeks. Everyone will go back to their lives as usual, and no one will care about you. No one will remember that you had old shoes, that you made a bad joke, fell in front of everyone couldn't get a degree or failed an exam. At work, they'll find a replacement for you, your friends will move on, and the world will lose nothing. What will happen if you walk naked through a crowded place? That's right, the cops will take you away, and people will move on and forget about you in a few minutes without even remembering. Everyone has their own life, and once you realize this, it will be much easier to do what you like. Watch what you like and start a business, begin studying something, start working out, or open your own channel. Who knows, maybe you'll bring something new to the world. Maybe you'll help people in one way or another. If all that's stopping you is the fear of judgment, then just for 
forget it. Who could be more important than yourself? All my subsequent endeavors follow the same plot as the gym, just in a different form. Try and don't listen to those who tell you it's impossible. Who are they to use such a strong word, impossible, in relation to your ideas? Others' opinions don't matter at all. No one knows what happens behind closed doors. No one but you knows what you've been through, your experience, the extent of your mind, and the strength of your will to so easily judge your prospects. Maybe before this you went through tougher trials, beaten illness, or managed to come back after losing loved ones, and then some random person tells you that you can't achieve some trivial thing. How could they know that you have a wealth of experience that will help you succeed? To them, you seem weak because they are weak themselves and are projecting their own experience onto you. But that's not the truth. You know very well that Saitama is far from weak. People's opinions change every day. Today they curse you, tomorrow they show interest. In a year they love you, in five years they adore you, or vice versa. So, as the classic said, Thank you.